any place that wants your money will explain how to spend it in whatever languages are necessary. Okay, here's a little boat station in Bruges. They're selling you a tour. And if you look at that, you can read the Dutch, can't you? Or the Flemish. It says boat excursions, 30 minutes long. And if you look further, it says 764, four different ways to say adults, and 340 for four different ways to say children. How old are children? It says right there, 4 to 11 yar. And then down below, four different ways to say the entrance to the boats. That's your standard experience right there when it comes to the language barrier. You'll notice two new languages on the list, Chinese and Russian. Didn't see that before. Another thing you'll notice is in restaurants now, instead of four different languages, two languages. The local language for the local people, English for everybody else. English has risen to become the lingua franca. I've been saying this for 30 years, and since then, a whole generation has grown up speaking better English than ever before. This is the hip and pop language on this planet. Young people, educated people, people in tourism will speak English generally when you're going around Europe. As a matter of fact, counterintuitively, the little language groups, Estonia, Bulgaria, Norway, they would be more likely to speak English than you would think even more than the people from the big language groups like Spain, France, and Germany. You can be German and have a big world speaking just German. You can't be Estonian and have a big world speaking just Estonian. Only a million people speak Estonian. So anywhere you go, you can do fine speaking the language. I've noticed at airports nowadays, there are some airports that have dispensed with the local language altogether. This is a country that speaks uh, uh, Dutch. It's Holland. And in the airport, you just see English language signs. And I want to stress, you got multilingual signs for your tours. Here's a boat cruise, and what do you got? 16 different languages. That would be a tape-recorded tour. You just dial whatever language you want to hear the tour in. The audio guides in Europe, they'll program them for your language. So, communicating is critical, and if you have good skills, you'll find the most important language that you can have overseas is English.